one thing that isn't tragic though are all these celebrities jumping on to the wave of posturing and you know you know doing this whole virtue signaling thing by going out there and basically putting their flag in the ground and saying i support one or the other side um israel or palestine i don't understand personally especially if you have no personal investment in what's going on there or you don't really understand the situation it, but but just in general if you're a celebrity of their of like kylie jenner's level there really is no reason for you to put a post out like this which is basically saying now and always we stand with the people of israel it's just like you probably don't know what's going on um it's probably way outside of your intellectual level like most of us and it just unnecessarily upsets a huge swath of people who are just trying to figure shit out they're just trying to deal with this situation in real time and the last thing they need are essentially u.s propaganda agents right who probably don't know they're being a users agents essentially disseminating weird um false news out there or whatever they may be or just distracting for the situation at heart it really is weird but just for the people involved i don't know what the appeal is of doing these sort of things like why would you do this like why what's the appeal of putting these posts out because it i guess this is like the limit this shows you the limits of social media activism because this does absolutely nothing like even if you do have sympathy for israel even if you are really cut up about what's going on what does this post do what does this graphic do i don't think it does anything really and truly um but obviously it makes you feel good because it makes you look like you're somewhat aware of world issues and shit but i just feel like in some points there should be a default position that people go to when it's stuff that's outside of their purview it's like hey i feel bad for both sides i hope there's peace and just keep it moving or no comment because you don't know what's going on this standing with either side especially if you don't know what's going on is so odd it really is for social media points it's bizarre um in the small part because it just it just adds more pain and anguish to people and she obviously deleted this post um when it went crazy on her social media account so i could just imagine what her dms were like kaya Gemma's dms must have been on absolute fire do you know what i mean when she posted what she posted and again considering the the good little rebrand that she's been doing lately the link up with that timothy chamelet guy um the paris fashion week stuff the visuals everything she's done a really good job rebranding herself right in the last few months uh, or even a couple of years and all of a sudden you're embroiling yourself in this nonsense it's just it's just why you know you're giving yourself all this unnecessary hate you're basically turning a whole entire region against you it's just unnecessary necessary and really is um a short-sighted thing thing just goes to show the lengths or the hubris of some celebrities they honestly do think people are sitting there waiting to hear what kaya jenna has to say about the ongoing conflict in fucking israel and palestine it's similar to the, the jarul thing isn't it i mean no like like they're sitting there thinking oh what does jarul think about this like no one's thinking at all zero like actually it's absolutely crazy that you'd go out there and put your you know put your flag in the, in the ground and then delete it as well that's the other thing that's really abhorrent if you actually feel the way you feel stand on it you know if you actually want to support israel stand on that shit that'd actually be way more commendable than getting scared and getting shamed out of supporting or standing for a certain people because people are being mean to you on social media like that's the antithesis of cowardice antithesis but again these people don't really know what they're talking about it's just all fucking social media credit points it's similar to the black squares it doesn't really do shit it's just whatever and then of course continuing on to not doing shit the uk government now wants to get involved and do this nonsense but again you know we shouldn't be involved at all it's the it's, it's the issue unfortunately people in that region of the world have to deal with on their own accord we don't really you know we should not be banding behind anybody really in my personal opinion um because then you have to see it all the way through and i don't think our government wants to do that because it's going to lead to some catastrophes but the headline here from the shade room says the uk government wants the government um buildings to fly the israeli flag in solidarity so have it be screened you know lit up on the on the front of like downing street as it is there and this flipping caption which is absolutely crazy it says uk government requested that the official government builders fly the israeli flag in solidarity this comes after the latest emergency um emergence of conflict in gaza um continuing the long and historic war between israel and palestine the government also requested that buildings use appropriate lighting for the cause 
And then somebody in the comments of the of the shade room, shade barrel, sorry, said this very interesting comment. They said, I wish I was exaggerating any of this, but the level of sadistic oppression is truly insane. Palestinians are evicted from their homes on the daily, and people who have moved from New Jersey to Israel are given those homes. Or if they are deemed illegal by the government, they can be bulldozed. Israel don't license permits, don't do not license permits to build in for Palestine. The closest comparison is to South Africa apartheid, the shit that Nelson Mandela and ANC overthrew in the 90s. But this is an ongoing problem with no end in sight. And the way that many folks around the world frame this as a religious conflict or Muslims v Jews is complete bullshit. Colonizers from Western nations continue a process of ethnic cleansing that was started in 1948 to rid Israel and Palestine of Palestinians. They don't mince words about it. They don't view Palestinians as human, only terrorists or vermin that need to disappear. So this is a view of somebody who's down there with their feet on the ground, is obviously a part of that community. And, you know, by flying those flipping flags on the buildings, you just upset a huge swath of people. Um, you don't really know what's going on. There's loads of, you know, it's really difficult to sort of spot who the bad actors are or who is good and who is bad in this sort of argument i guess there's shades of dark in both sides of things or whatever or maybe there isn't or maybe you just backed the wrong person in general we should be staying switzerland on this stuff staying neutral and keeping out of the way really and truly offering condolences and trying what we do to help but not booing these fucking flags on the side it's absolutely crazy um but hey the UK government's going to do what the UK government's going to do. Again, we don't have HS2 Manchester, but we're going to fucking fly flags on the side of buildings and whatnot, and we've got people living in dilapidated council homes. Makes complete sense.